From VTV Channel 6 Studios in downtown Vernal, this is Local Point with your host, Chris Piner. Hello and welcome to Local Point. I'm your host, Chris Piner. On today's show, let's welcome Sam Passy and Lana Fulbright, who are here to discuss library and museum events and activities happening this fall. So it's great to have both of you here. It's great to be here. Great. I think you've been us. here before, Sam. And then, Lana, this is your first time on Local nope, Point. No, I've been on before. You've been on Just before, Just not with too. you as the host. <laughs> oh, th there are a few <laughs> others. <laughs> now, let's, right. ta let's start with you, Lana. You, you're here representing the Western Heritage Museum? Um, we actually changed the name to Uinta County Heritage Museum. Oh. We dropped the Western. Good to know. So, <laughs> But we'll still answer to Western Heritage Museum. But that's good but for our viewers right. to know as well. It is now called the Uinta County Heritage Museum, right. formerly known as, as Western the Heritage. Western Heritage Museum, which used to be there on the At Western premises Park. of the Western Park Correct. and now is? In the old library, so 155 East Main. In so the old library. In front of the new library. We're on Main Street what, there. What is? Do you Have you just abandoned that building at the Western Park? We <laughs> have. They're using it for other things They have now. other things to use it for, but right. the, the facility is now where the old library was. Correct. And what, is there anything else different about it? It is. Instead of um, trying to display everything all at once, we're now able to tell more stories and be more of an interpretive type of museum. And we're able to rotate our exhibits around and, and highlight things going on in the community, such as Dinosaur National Monument's 100th birthday oh, coming up good. here. We have an art show going on right now um, until October 4th. So the third is the last they can see it, October 3rd. All right. And, uh, and that's what's, in conjunction. Coming, what's coming next? The next will be the photography shootout sponsored by the UNA Arts, UNA Council. Arts Council. So that's one of their annual shows. So we're excited for that. And um, we're open for tour groups. If you have any kind of organization, Cub Scouts, girls groups, whatever, Are you call us. open for the general public as well or is it we by are. appointment? Nope, we're open um, 9 to 6 um, every day now. We do have summer hours, but summer's gone, darn it. So now we're on hours. When you say every hours. day, is that every all seven days? Oh, every day but Sunday. Every day but and Sunday. Oh, I should say Saturday, one, <laughs> 10 to 4. <laughs> Different hours Sorry. on Saturday as well. Right. But Saturday, regular weekday hours, Monday through Friday it's from 9 to 6. 9 to 6. Mm -hmm. On Saturday? 10 to 4. 10 to 4. Right. Take a break on Sunday and come back again the next Monday. Right. That's so right. it's uh, a rotating, rotating exhibits. We then. have some that are permanent and we have some ah, that we change yeah. around. So every fall, um, we're going to be working on next summer's exhibits for the summer event coming up. So um, right now we have uh, Leo Thorne, the man behind the camera. Yes. We have his the cat studio, the, the photographer, correct. And then we've also been working on stabilization and mounting the Thorne collection, the Native American collection that we have. This is an amazing project. We've worked with researchers and curators from the University of Utah who have come in and helped us stabilize this collection help these thousands and hundreds of years old objects to maintain good shape for the future. Are we here. talking about some of the some of the native artifacts in Correct. the Thorn collection? Because he not only had the, the vast collection of photography right. but was also a, a yeah, historical he was an archaeologist. 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 Right. So we have um, gorgeous baskets, we have a lot of um, arrowheads, the points we have a lot of interesting stuff. Wonderful, um, and it's it is there to be seen at the Heritage Museum. Correct. Permanently, is that always there? That will be up. Um, there'll be some things changing in and out. Um, ah, it's not good. good to have items out all the time on display. I see. So now that we have a little bit of storage, we're able to rotate things rotate around. Rotate things around and keep the museum fresh and the Correct. exhibits fresh. Right. There's good reason for people to not just go once in a while, but not when you have company. You want to come, come in more often. More often. What is the admission? The, the admission is free. There is no charge. Hey. Um, we also have a family fun activity day every month, wh which is also free. It's the third Saturdays. So check our website or Facebook. What, for example, might happen on um, that day? This last Saturday, we had um, leaf art. So we had gathered all different shapes and sizes of leaves, and then they, everybody come in and made pictures out of them. 
whether oh. it was people, animals, whatever. Got to create some art. Create That's some right. art. Is the, is the Heritage Museum uh, uh, one that might also take traveling exhibits, uh, that kind of thing? Could we do we have see that type of thing here in Vernal? Definitely. definitely. In the basin? I definitely. Last summer we had the big Smithsonian exhibit. Um, we're working on a few right now. It's a little too soon to release the details, but right. keep our fingers crossed. We hope to have some cool science exhibits coming wow. in. Coming in. And I love this, this partnership, really, by, by moving the premises, the, the, the location. You really right. do work hand-in-hand hand with the, uh, the, the county library. Definitely, right. definitely so. Now tell me about, you do have a, a website for the museum. We do. Tell me about that. Um, now give me the website and tell me a little about it. So it's unamuseum.org, and we're on Perfect. Facebook. And you can probably link to us off of VTV or the Chamber of Commerce. Right. And or do a search, right? Yeah. Right. And the simple search, Google you'll us. find them. You'll find them. Great. And so that's going to have hours and things like that. Correct. I love this little connection, and that's why we've got both of you on today. Uh, we're going to take a, a brief break, and then we'll come back and talk a little bit more about some of the happenings at the Uinta County Library. And we'll see what both of you have to say about that. Okay. Sounds good. All, All right. right. After the break, we'll be discussing the Western Heritage, uh, well, not the Western Heritage Museum, but the Uinta, Uinta County. County Library. <laughs> With advanced all-digital cable television from Strata Networks, you can enjoy jaw-dropping digital picture on hundreds of channels, exclusive local programming with VTV6, and follow your favorite college teams in incredible HD on the Pac-12 network, all with no contracts, no costly equipment, and no dishes mounted to your home. For details, visit your Strata store in Roosevelt or Vernal or call 622-5007. Strata Networks, we connect lives. Welcome back to Local Point. Before the break, we were discussing the uh, Western, the Heritage Museum. I've got to get this in my head. The Heritage Museum, the change, formerly known as the Western Heritage Museum, that is now in the old library. We talked about some of the collections and the and the rotation, your hours, and and uh, that it's free. free. People might not know that, right? No cost to enjoy some some heritage and history, and also that there's really very much a partnership. Uh, between the Heritage Museum, the Uinta County Heritage Museum, and the Uinta County Library. Library. Thus, we have both of you here today. And Sam, you've been on before. We've talked about some of the great events going on in that, that beautiful facility that we all have now. What's, what's, uh, what's happening at the library now? Well, you know, we're really spoiled with the facility. Um, some of the things that I wanted to mention are some of the resources that we have for parents, especially parents of young children. We've got story times. We have a new children's librarian, Allison Fuchs, and she's just amazing. Come and introduce your kids to her. She's there Tuesdays uh, at 10 and 11, and Wednesdays at uh, also at 10 and 11. And there's also a parenting class called Love and Logic, Parenting with Love and Logic. Right. And it's a great resource. If you feel like you're going to strangle your kids, or you know someone who is, <laughs> pause, stop and come Thursday night. So yeah. Love and Logic class. And this is a, a st uh, pretty uh, well-known curriculum. Definitely. For Definitely. This class. And, and we've watched it's parents. It's not locally developed. No, so. no. We've watched parents come in in the first week. They're kind of hesitant. They sit in the back row. And by the end of it, uh, they, they're there on the front row. They're engaged. They're using these skills. And it's all about learning new skills. And so we're, we're working with the library to find ways that we can help people do what they've always done in the library, which is find new knowledge, develop new skills. Uh, books and things are transitioning to electronic materials in a lot of cases. And we're poised in a good place in our community to help people get the best of the physical stuff and the electronic stuff. And everything is happening and staying current. That's right. right. Yeah. So is there, a, if someone wanted to take, for example, a class uh, like the Love and Logic class or 
attend the story time with Allison. What what do you do? Is there is there a charge for that? There's no charge. You just have to show up. Also free. No no enrollment. No admission. That's oh, one you of don't the need to say in advance. You just show up. You just show up. Oh, well, there you go. That's pretty simple. <laughs> And they restart the Love and Logic curriculum a couple times a year. And so if you've missed the start of one. You can go you can, in and pick it up. Yeah, but you can always come in the middle of it. You can jump in at any time. That's right. OK, so that's always going. And of course, we've got the books and the audio tapes and things. Not audio tapes. Nothing's on audio tape anymore. No. CDs and digital downloads. You're that so old, that. Sam. How could you say <laughs> something am. like my, tapes? My truck still has a tape player. <laughs> yeah, a tape yeah. pl I have the same problem. I call them audio tapes or books on tape. And my kids say, no. <laughs> no, yeah, it's a tape. <laughs> speaking of that, it used to be if you wanted to learn a language, a book on tape was a good way to do it. But we've got this amazing service called Mango Languages. It's similar to Rosetta Stone if you've heard about that. But if you go to our website, which is unlibrary.org, you can get on there, get on Mango Languages. You need your library card number, though. Ah. So if you don't know that, call the library. We'll get you your number or we'll get you a new card if you don't have one or there if you've you lost it or loaned it out. Uh, but you can learn any of about 50 languages, and it's amazing. Wow. There's two years equivalent of language courses. You, it, the program, you speak to it, you read what it says, it analyzes your speech, oh. and they even have these cool graphs that show where the emphasis should be so you can see if you're making it or not. Uh, it's great feedback. You can print certificates when you're done. And there's also a couple English as a second language programs there, too. Ah, so you can learn English. Correct. For example, right? Wow, what great resources you have. I've seen people at computers with uh, headphones and, and that sort of thing. Maybe that's what they've been doing. Yeah, a few of them. It's a great resource. I just checked, and this month we've had 256 people in our community using the service. And so it's, it's really cool. Uh, I know there are a lot of people from Vernal who go to foreign countries, uh, missions and trips. And uh, there's even a vacation section if you're going I don't know, to Mexico on vacation, you want to know how to order some food. Pick up a little bit uh, before you go and learn a language. I think it's a good idea in this uh, day and age anyway for everyone to know a little bit uh, of what is outside our neck of the woods. Oh, it's a lot of fun. Be it language or, or whatever else. Um, what about uh, art? Do you, you host art there? We do. Uh, the library has some ongoing uh, artists in the making programs. Every three months, there's a different program, and children can submit their artwork to be hung in the library. But we also partner with the museum to host a variety of art shows, some from the community, some from uh, other areas. Recently, we had the Adoption Exchange Gallery. And we've, we're very pleased with our partnership with the museum. And we've been able to highlight a lot of local artists. There's some amazing talent in this area. And anything that's sold out of these shows right now goes to help support the Heritage Museum. I love that. And now you also have, uh, I, I, I'm thinking of visual art. I'm, I'm always seeing art and, of course, books and computers and right. wonderful things in the facility. But um, music, does, music seems to play a little bit of a role in the, the county library as well as you have the beautiful uh, piano and, and practice rooms. There's always something going on at the library. and. Now the museum. So our viewers can check out more information on the museum at, at museum.org. Uinta or Uinta County? Uinta. Uinta Museum.org and Uinta Library.org. You got it. <laughs> and it's time maybe for everybody to go get a library card if you haven't had one for a while or figure out a little bit about it. They're free. These great sources, they're free. free. Thank you both for coming. Thank you. And thank you for joining us today on this episode of Local Point. That's all we have for today's show. Be sure to like VTV on Facebook for updates on your favorite local programming. We'll see you next time.